Hey guys, Coco Brown Curl is here and I'm with Aysen, right? Mm. What's your name? Aysen. Aysen what? Aysen J. Wiggins. Aysen J. Wiggins. So I know you guys don't typically get to see Aysen. You see him kind of in the background a little bit, but I've never done a video or a full on video with him. Just a couple of quick lives. But today is important because I wanted to do a blog post or a video post. It was really important to me to talk about having a son with curly hair. A lot of the times as bloggers and natural hair vloggers, we focus on ourselves or maybe our daughters. I don't really see a lot of us talking about our sons and how sometimes we have boys with curly hair. So I decided to do my very first video with the other twin that you guys don't see a lot of, Ace and Jay. So, We've got some gummies to kind of keep him on track. He is not really into the video and onto be, into being on camera like his sister is. So we got these gummies to kind of keep him going, keep his energy up. But like I said, I wanted to do a video about this because I think it's important for us to also include in our conversations about curly hair, what it means to have a son with curly hair. And I was kind of inspired to do this for a couple of reasons. The first reason being I'm constantly getting told, oh, how cute are the girls anytime the twins are together. I think as a society, we've yet to really understand that some boys just have long hair. So when you see him out and he's in his blue and he's in his red, quote unquote, which typically are colors we put in our boys or his basketball shorts and his sneakers, he still gets addressed as a girl. I don't know if it's because he's... I know, he's, girl, I'm a boy. I know, but people don't seem to understand that. So I don't know if it's because he's with his twin sister. I don't know if it's because they look so much alike. And, you know, she's dressed up like a little princess most of the time. I don't know if it's his gorgeous long eyelashes. I don't know what it is. But them seeing, or people seeing his long hair, even though it's braided in cornrows, they just immediately say girl. And... It's becoming a little disheartening because I think as a society at this point, we should truly understand that boys have long hair and we don't always make the decision to cut their hair. So me for one, I decided to let this decision be up to Asim, right? You're going to decide when you cut your hair, correct? Yeah, but I can cut my hair when I want to play with baby and Aiden. You want to play? Okay, he wants to play with his brother and sister. But I've decided, me and my husband have decided that we're really going to let this decision be left up to Aiden. At this point right now, he's five. Um, I don't think he's at that point where he's ready to make a true sound decision of what he wants. Anytime he sees his older brother gets his hair cut and you ask him, does he want his hair cut? He says no. I think the biggest thing right now for him is he doesn't like to get his hair done. He gets frustrated. I tend to get frustrated. Our Sundays are our wash days and it's the day of most tension in our household when it comes to our hair. And I think if he is considering getting his hair cut or if I'm even considering being the one to take those scissors, it's going to be on Sunday. But it's in the midst of that heightened frustration for us. So I never want to make such a permanent decision based off of those temporary emotions. So I never decide in that moment. We kind of keep going with the routine where we uh, take his braids out and we wash, deep condition, detangle, and I rebraid his hair. And we learn to live another day with long curly hair. So again, I want this decision to truly be up to him. It was the same thing we did with my oldest son. He was a little different at this age and he decided at four of sound mind that he was ready to get his hair cut. I uh, will say that him and his older brother do not really have the same hair texture, whereas Aiden had long hair and we did keep it braided up. It wasn't as curly as Aysen's hair is, so I really want to incorporate Aysen more than I do now. I do a lot behind the scenes and off camera, you guys don't really see it, but I want to begin to incorporate Aysen a lot more into his natural hair journey, just like me and his sister are on. You like my earrings? 
Yeah. <laughs> I want to begin to incorporate him more. So the more I expose him to it, the more I include him in on the conversations that I have with Ava, the more I feel he'll be better prepared and equipped to decide at some point whether or not he wants to cut his curly hair. So we're going to start including you more, right? Yeah. Yeah. So do you have long hair or short hair? Oh, uh, long hair. Is it curly? Oh, uh, yeah. And my, and my brother's. Well, no, your brother has short hair. But, Do you like your curly hair? Yeah. But, Do you want it cut? Well, I don't know. You don't know if you want it cut? Yeah. That's okay that you don't know yet. So, I'm going to give you these. So the next thing I want to talk about in this video is the, what products do I use on Aitzen. So you guys know I go into great detail on what products I use for myself. I go into great detail on what products I use for his sister. But I don't really talk about a lot what I use for Aitzen. So for him, his texture is a little different. Ava and myself, well I'll set, start with Ava, can use a lot of gels. She has that what I call blow in the wind curls. Me and Aitzen's hair type is a little more similar. I like butters. Aeson is good with butters too. So through all the hair care products that I've tried, I love the Shea Moisture line for Aeson, especially the Manuka Honey and I think it's Mafura Oil line. It's in the brown and almost like goldish cap containers. And I don't have a container with me now, um, but I can certainly show you guys one a little later in the video. I love that line. Absolutely love it. I feel like the deep conditioner, the hair mask, I put that on his curls and it melts like butter and it absolutely makes the detangling process a breeze with him. So recently on Shea Moisture's Instagram, I saw them post how they have a brand new line. It is the Manuka Honey and Yogurt. Now, I haven't been too much of an advocate or a fanatic for adding certain items into my products before a lot of people like to deep condition using like eggs and mayonnaise and you know real honey and such like that and I haven't really been too into that until the Manuka honey line came out and I really started to research and understand the benefits of adding honey into your hair care routine right so with this new line from Shea Moisture with them adding in yogurt I've never used yogurt before on my hair and I've seen other YouTubers and natural hair vloggers talk about using yogurt, never tried it for myself. But now that Shea Moisture's included it with that Manuka Honey and I know how amazing that line is, I had to try it. I want to play the Hydrate and Repair and Shampoo. And, and, and both. I was able to I get the Hydrate and Repair Conditioner. Uh, mommy, you want to go on the trampoline? You want to go on the trampoline? And I was able to get well, I know that from both this so leave-in, multi-action so leave-in. And the very last product I was I able to get is so the Hydrate and Repair Split In with. Repair. So, Ace and the jump on it. so let's get it to focus on that. Okay, so for those of you who came to the Mommy and Me session that I had at Southern Curl Salon with Ava, you know I kind of went into detail about what my process is and how I get Ava at such a young age to be involved or at least to sit still during her wash process. It's no different than what I do for Asen. So around this time, when it's time to start unbraiding his hair and getting him under the water, he gets a little anxious, of course, you know, what kid enjoys getting their hair washed. So I do the same steps with him that I do with her. I use this time, I usually give him snacks. I will give him his tablets and kind of entertain him. More so with me and her, we like to talk hair, so I use that time to really talk to her. With him, he's not as interested in talking hair yet, so uh, I'll just let him kind of focus on his tablet to kind of help ease his fears. So all that's left to do is to take his hair out and we're gonna get started with the wash process. So I am going to quickly, as quickly as possible, take his braids down. So we see how thick and long his hair is. This is one of the main reasons why I never really let it out or have him out and about with his hair out because it's so thick and luscious. It'll easily get de um, tangled up and people will even more so mistake him for a girl. So to keep that from happening, we keep his hair braided up. So I'm going to take this off. You want to take your shirt off? Oh, I don't know. You don't know? I'll let you keep your t-shirt on. So I like to do the old school method and I do the same thing with Ava. Laying back in the kitchen sink. 
So I will adjust this so you guys can see exactly what's going on. part where again I'm a little torn between if I want to use just my fingers to detangle his hair now as knotty as you think his hair would be it has its parts and its sections that are a little knotty but look at that just a little bit of conditioner and look how I can just glide my fingers right through his hair whenever I feel a little bit of tension I kind of just separate those areas a little bit of tension separate so again with his hair I'm still kind of torn if I just want to solely focus on finger detangling with him but because his hair is a little thicker I do um, still use the brush from time to time with him so I always say that I'm all about that curly girl method and using our fingers to finger detangle but I do kind of enlist the help of a brush when I'm working with him but again, look how easy this brush glides through his curls. I mean, he is a detangling dream with a little bit of conditioner. So when I'm done with that section, I just, keep your head turned please. When I'm done with that section, I just twist it up. Just to tell myself that that part's done. And so that I can move on. doing Asen's hair is after I get done washing and conditioning in the sink in my kitchen I like to bring him into a space that's a little more comfortable for him it's of course not the most ideal situation for a five-year-old to be laid out on the kitchen counter for 30 to 45 minutes however long it takes me to do his hair so typically when it's time for me to put in um, whatever leave-in I'm gonna use and then braid it or two strand twist it sometimes as I do plait it I like to have him in an atmosphere that's more comfortable for him. So right now we're in his room where he has his tablet and his television going to kind of distract him so that we can get through the braid process as quickly as possible. So the very last step that I'll do before I braid it, um, you see I did a little bit of it downstairs, but it's just to more so separate it a little bit more. And then again, I'm using that Hydrate and Repair multi-action leave-in. So I could either do what I did downstairs which is where I kind of just like separate his hair and spray it all over or I could go through and as I part his hair I could spray it on each individual section and what that'll also do is help to keep it moisturized and just help my fingers glide through it a little bit more as I braid it up so I think I'm gonna do a little bit of both this stuff smells amazing it smells so good it smells fresh and light and airy and almost like, I don't know, baby powder a little bit. It's good. So, you ready to get your hair braided? It's beautiful. Yeah, yeah it's, well, my tablet's all wet. Sorry, his tablet's wet. So, go ahead and get it braided and then I'll show you guys what it looks like at the end. Alright guys, so we are all done. As you can see, Aitzen's hair is all braided up now. And I went ahead and I used the... Let's get the exact name of it. The Hydrate and Repair Split in Balm on the ends of, yeah, I did. <laughs> on the ends of his hair just to help seal it in. So it didn't work, um, I guess how I assumed at first. It did make it a little sticky and tacky. 
but I think right now it's because just my nails are long so I'm not really able to braid all the way to the ends of his hair so it's nothing with the actual product it's more so the user right now um, but it definitely helped to kind of seal in his ends and I can tell after a couple of days that if they start to frizz again I can just spray a little bit more of that leave-in in and put a little bit more of the split-in repair on the end and just retwist it up or rebraid it as far down as I can go but I loved it did you love the product yeah, I did. You did? Okay. So again, guys, the whole purpose of this video is more so just to introduce Asen a little bit more to Cocoa Brown Curls and my channel. And just to start the discussion about boys with curls. Like I said at the beginning of the video, we put so much emphasis on girls having long hair that it is now, or not necessarily now, it's probably always been like this, but it is not really accepted when anyone in public sees a boy with long hair like i said they immediately mistake him for a girl no matter how much you know quote unquote boy stuff i have him in basketball shorts jordan sneakers nikes blues reds um in my opinion everything says boy and people still confuse him with a girl so again it's his charmish look but i really think we should start to open that conversation up a little bit more and accept the fact that boys are starting to choose to have long hair it's not you know guaranteed that a boy is going to want to have a short haircut like i said earlier i have two boys the oldest wants his hair short this one not yet and as you guys can see his curls i'm not ready for that either neither is his dad we are loving the long hair with asin so i just want to get this out there public service announcement psa to the rest of the world boys with long hair have been here they're here to stay ace with the curls all that good stuff so hopefully the more products maybe that come out for boys or the more we talk about it the more accepted it'll be and the less ace in here will get uh identified as a girl when we're out in public so that's all i have to say you got anything to say he's still playing with his tablet you got anything to say Yes. Thank you for doing the video with me. Good job. Kisses. All right. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> bye, guys. This is my dream.